Hi, Nyanjong, Gurum Shani Dalon Doku Shai Gundamong Dalisa, Gurumbe Hua Lisa. Welcome back to another week of Learn Mong with Lisa. I am Lisa. This week we will learn about transportation. Luantino Bayoka Sa Monte Lu Washi Mula Mula. <laughs> okay, so we will just get started. To drive is cha, 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 gu king cha che, gu king cha che, gu king cha che, go bo bo cha che, go bo bo cha che. So again, cha is to drive. Another verb is jai. 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 To jai is to ride. To ride on, to ride with, um, to catch a ride. Jai. Uh, so most times when you are using the word jai, you are either on something in a bike or you are riding along with someone so you're you know sitting shotgun in the back or whatnot um in other words you're not um in other words you're not the one who is um, maneuvering the the vehicle or the form of transportation you are simply on it um, and getting a ride the last word is mu mu not mu as in a cow but mu 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 means to go we also know the word by many times we use the word um, interchangeably or sometimes together but by is the lao or thai word for to go so we have three verbs cha jai and mu right so those are three verbs that you would normally use when you're talking about going somewhere or when you're talking about um, getting on some kind of transportation. So what forms of transportation are there? The first one is a car. A car. So a car in Hmong is che, 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 che means car. A bicycle in Hmong is Che go va, che go va, che go va, che go va. A che go va is a bicycle. Gu bao jai che go va. Gu bao jai che go va. Gu bao jai che go va. I know how to ride a bicycle. The next word is motorcycle. For Hmong, we say moto. Moto, moto, kapo mua ilu moto, kapo mua ilu moto, kapo mua ilu moto. Do you have a motorcycle? The word for van or any car that's bigger than a four-door sedan would be che lo, che lo. Che lo, che lo, che car, lo, big, big car, che lo, van, uh, probably a station wagon, or, or you know, a 12, 15 passenger van, those are all che lo. The word for bus is ba, 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 ba. I'm not quite sure if this is an authentic Hmong word or if it's borrowed from the Thai or Lao. However, if you use it, it will be understood. Lumba lo lila. Lumba lo lila. Lumba lo lila. The bus is late. The next word is train. So fun fact, I actually have been on a train. I don't remember the memory because I was probably around maybe two years old, not even, no, maybe not even, because my brother was just born. 
um, my younger brother. And so we rode a train from Arkansas to California, and then several months later, we rode it back to Arkansas. So I have been on a train. I just don't remember the experience. For train in Hmong, we say che gie lo, che gie lo, che gie lo, che car. I'm not sure what gie means, but lo means metal. I'm assuming it's probably a like metal box car. Tokume gukya ilu che gie lo. Tokume gukya ilu che gie lo. Tokume gukya ilu che gie lo. When I was young, I rode on a train. The next word is subway. In Hmong, we say che gie lo ho ka a. Che gie lo ho ka a. Che gie lo ho ka a. Literally, it means train underground. New York, mo che gie lo ho ka a. New York, mo che gie lo ho ka a. New York, mo che gie lo ho ka a. Now, if you need to go somewhere further away and you don't want to drive there, you can always take an airplane. So the word for airplane in Hmong is da lo. Da lo. Da lo. Da lo is airplane. Go po tao jai da lo. Go po tao jai da lo. Go po tao jai da lo. Have you ever been on a plane? The next word I believe is going to be um, all inclusive. Um, an all inclusive word for boat, canoe, kayak. And that word is ngo, 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 ngo. Ngo is really a boat, but it again can be used for kayak, canoe. And then a ship, the word would just be ngo lo, ngo lo, ngo lo, ngo lo. Jack Sparrow, mo ilu ngo lo. Jack Sparrow, mo ilung go lo. Jack Sparrow, mo ilung go lo. Jack Sparrow, mo ilung go lo. Jack Sparrow has a ship. So ngo is boat and then lo is big. So big boat, hence a ship. So those are all the words I have for this week. As you can see, this is a shorter lesson but I hope that you are learning new things just like I am. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye!